what do you do when you get in your ABS plastic shower, usually in an RV or a trailer, and you get one of these bad boys. We're going to attempt to fix this, and I'm going to show you the way that I'm going to do it. If you've seen this video, it worked. Tools needed for the job. Orbital sander was used, not required but helpful. This is 60 grit sandpaper. I use a sponge on the back side of that to uh, get around the corners better. This is the juice, so uh, sacrificial ABS uh, plastic um, fitting or a piece of pipe. Made shavings, mixed it with acetone. This is where the thin jelly juice comes from. Other video on how to repair the black tank in my channel will help with that. Denatured alcohol for cleaning, paper towels, respirator optional but helpful just so you're not breathing in the dust. Drill, eighth inch drill bit, piece of ABS plastic, quarter inch thick, this one is, got it from McMaster Car. PVC saw for cutting it, torch to heat it, medium black ABS cement. Rasp I was used for the chamfer and paintbrush and I used um, Rust-Oleum top coat uh, gloss white boat paint. And two kittens. The first step that I'm gonna do is sand this down. This was actually an old crack that was there from previous owner. And I'm gonna sand this all down, get it down to just bare plastic. There's actually like, um, I think it's auto bondo, body bondo underneath there. I'm almost through the bondo here. You got a little bit here and here. Get down to the yellow, which was the base color of this plastic. All of the bondo sanded off. Now we need to find where all the cracks are. There's one here, here, goes across, there, and there's one that goes up. So what we gotta do is take an eighth inch drill bit and drill out at the completely end of each crack and that will stop the crack. So as you can see them growing there. Holes are drilled. This is just denatured alcohol here. Just gonna prep the area. Let that evaporate for a minute or two. A couple items here. You're gonna need acetone and ricotta cheese. No, I'm just kidding. ABS shavings. That's not ricotta. All right, so I took a fitting an ABS pipe, I think, actually. And I just cut it in a table saw and got shavings out of it, okay? Scooped them up. And then when you mix the certain ratio, I don't have the ratio, but it's a little bit and a little bit. And you have to wait and you get it mixed and you get this consistency. It's about like thin jelly, maybe, something like that. That's what I can come up with in my head. So that's what's going to have to be today. It's thin jelly. And that's what we need. So this is our... This is our uh, ABS juice here. All right, so now we're just gonna apply a very thin coat of the juice onto the crack. This is the first step. And you just kinda one of these deals. And you just keep going. I mean, this is gonna take a while, so. There you go. There's the first step to this attempt to fixing this shower, uh, pan from the outside on a corner large crack probably six to seven eight inches also there is other steps on how to make this juice and other things to repair this black tank in my other videos things like how to actually find out if your tub or tank is ABS plastic I have another video on my channel called ABS black tank repair I believe it was um, for the camper build and this is part of it and this is uh, this is what happened afterwards so this is gonna be this is a post fix you're gonna need ABS plastic I got this sheet it's a quarter inch thick it was 12 inches by 24 inch seat I got it from McMaster car and we're gonna cut this piece out in this case mine's 10 inches long by three and three quarters wide. Got that cut, we're gonna cut this one and be done.
chamfer to all the corners. So it'll be a nice and smooth transition. It's all dry. Next day, we're gonna sand this down. And this is the piece, like I showed before, which is gonna get formed into this radius here. So, we're gonna heat this thing up and see how well this goes. Let's see how it goes. All right, I got it heated up pretty good. Get it into place here. There's the placement. Hopefully, she dries like that. So I sanded down the entire area. We have the curved, you know, piece here that nests. It's nested nice in these corners. It's got denatured alcohol in this. Let's give this a quick hit. This is medium black um, ABS cement. I'm not gonna say much here because I don't have the time. So we just gotta glop it on there. I don't have the time. It's gotta be covered. I have like 15 seconds roughly. So that's about what I have. Right there. Like I said, here goes nothing. And I'm holding decent pressure, 30 seconds or so. That's set for a bit. Now we're gonna throw on a nice thick bead here around the perimeter, because there are some gaps. We have the dry patch. This is the first test. You guys are going to see it firsthand. I got my tippy toes on it. So that's a lot of pressure in that little spot. I don't know if I want to jump on it, but let's try it. I mean, I don't want to like break it, but I want to test it, you know? Hold it out here too, it should pop if it pops. Ouch. <laughs> it works! It works! It works! We have successfully completed the patch job. And it holds one adult human. Three coats of paint over the entire pan is what I ended up putting on there. Success. Well, don't go in there. Oh, he's in there. 